Hey guys, so I think it actually feels like it's been an absolute age since I filmed a video like this where I'm literally just like sitting down and talking to you guys because obviously since I've kind of come back to YouTube, Jed and I have been doing videos together. So I haven't actually done a sit down video like this in a really long time and it feels kind of strange but also feels kind of good um, to be back kind of doing this. So um, I had originally said that I probably wouldn't be doing uh, like too much stuff to do with like beauty or fashion or anything on my channel it was going to turn um a lot more vlog heavy um but i had a couple of people say that they missed me doing those videos so i then put it out to you guys on youtube and on instagram and a few of you said well actually it was like 80 percent said that you really wanted me to start incorporating the odd kind of fashion and beauty videos so we're still going to be doing lots of vlogging um, we are not going to go away from doing that. We are going to still be doing a lot more vlogging about our life. But at the same time, I am also going to start incorporating some hauls and um, some like beauty things every now and then as well. So you should get a couple of kind of like fashion and beauty videos a month. Um, now this is probably, obviously as you can tell by the title of this, um, it's going to be a Primark haul. I've not been to Primark to do a massive shop in what feels like forever i mean would even say it's close to like a year since i've actually been in there to think i'm just gonna have a wander around and see what i find um now as some of you might have known if you watched our last video jed and i are going to venice or if you've seen on my instagram you've seen we're going to venice um in fact probably going to venice yeah probably about a week by um yeah i think by, by the time you guys would have seen this video um i think we'll be going in a week's time so i actually went there thinking i might find a few things um to take i actually didn't really find too much for venice but i managed to find still a hell of a lot of stuff and probably one of the biggest primark hauls i've ever done in my life so i didn't even realize this will show you how long i've been haven't been to primark unless i'm just going in and buying like a quick basic or something is that they now do these bags yes that is the size of the bag of the stuff that i have bought so what i would suggest <coughs> oh what i would suggest is you get yourself a drink or get something to eat um and then you can kind of see everything that i have bought from primark when they said do you want to get one of the bags i was like oh do you charge for bags now and they were like not for the paper ones but for these ones because the amount of stuff you bought you probably need one and i was like oh god i was like okay fine whereas before you would have normally got like two paper bags or something um yes and i have got my receipt and everything in here but obviously all the prices are on things so um i will tell you the prices and the sizes of things as i go um but if you're interested in seeing what i bought in primark then keep watching Okay, so there is going to be absolutely, in fact, I'm going to pull my chair out next to me, pop this here, let's get a good system going, guys, so I can be as efficient as possible with this. So, I'm just going to pull things out one by one, um, obviously the woman's kind of just shoved everything in there. So one of the first things was just this cute little grey t-shirt, it's a cropped one obviously and then it's got a tie in the front, um, this like you can see was £4 so I got this in a small um, and actually yeah it was just, just a really cute little grey top, short sleeves um, and it does come quite high so it's quite a cropped top um, but I think with some like high waisted jeans and stuff actually that would look really nice. One of the next things I got, so I actually picked up two tops for work. Um, I do always remember that Primark was always a really good place for me to go if I was trying to get some new work clothes. And they actually had a couple of these tops in a few different colours. So um, it is just this white um, and kind of like a peachy colour with a black stripe going through it. Very quite a long top actually and it has actually got splits on the side. So it does have that kind of scooped bit on the front and the back. And it has also got a tie that goes around the waist and then um, it feels cuffed but it's not it's actually cuffed a little bit more on the inside of the sleeves than it is there so it just comes below your elbow um i got this in a size 10 and i think this was 10 pounds which i do think some of the stuff in primark was really expensive they had some of those really lovely like wooden bags and i was like i've got my barley bag which i really like but i wanted to get ones where it was like really square and it was like thin bits of wood and then you kind of clasp the handles I'm probably not describing it very well at all i'm trying to set a picture of what i'm talking about um it was 20 pounds and i thought i just can't justify 20 pounds for a primark bag 
Staying along those lines, like I said, they had quite a few of them, so I actually picked it up in this colour, which I think is such a gorgeous colour. Um, what do they call it? Terracotta. Um, it probably is a bit terracotta-y, but this is exactly the same. So same shaping at the front, same tie, same size, um, same price. Then I just got some real simple basics. So I just got a small in this white one and a small in this black one. And this is what I always usually just go into Primark to go and get when I'm not doing like a big shop. I just kind of go in there to maybe get some socks, get some basics and then I go and I never really look at anything else. Then next I got this super cute dress. Now this actually, I love a square neckline. Doesn't everybody love just a square neckline? It just looks really nice. And it's just this black and white fitted like bodycon dress that goes down to your knees. This was six pounds, which is also why I can't quite justify why those tops were 10 pounds, this was six pounds. And it's a really lovely thick material. It's a lot thicker um, than a lot of their other clothes in there. And they did have it also in khaki, but I thought going into summer, this will be really, really nice. Um, I've got some other things that I think will go really cute with this, so I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, then one of my favourite items of clothing, let's take this off the hanger, um, that I picked up, I don't know how Jed's going to feel about this because he really hates the colour red, um, was this red jumper that just says, not my problem. Um, this is a size small, but obviously you can see it is like a super oversized jumper. It is so soft on the inside, so it's got really lovely fleecing on the inside. Um, obviously just like a cross detail on the front. The sleeves are also really, really long with quite a drop shoulder. A little bit like what I'm wearing now, I like drop shoulders. Um, so yeah, as you can see, they are super long. And actually, this goes really, really well with my nails that I've got at the moment. But I just really liked this. Um, and this was also £10, I think. Yeah, £10 as well. But like I said, I got it in a small. Um, I probably could have got it in an extra small, but actually kind of feel like I want it to feel quite oversized. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was just really nice. Yeah. Oh, randomly, some cotton wool. Doesn't everybody just go and get cotton wool when you go to Primark? I feel like that's quite standard. Then I got some pyjamas, and it was the one... Primark was always the place... This bag's going to be falling off. Um, Primark was always the one place that I always wanted to go and get pyjamas. So they had this colour. So it's this lovely tealy kind of colour. Do they say teal? I feel like it's teal. Hmm, khaki. That's not khaki at all. It's kind of like a teal, like petrol blue, um, like satin with a little lace trim around the bottom um, of these. I got these in a small and these were only £4.50, which was amazing. And yeah, I just really like them. And they had little pockets which I thought was quite cute. Um, and then they have the matching top. Now, I don't know about you as well, if you ever kind of get these like satiny ones, I never get them in my actual size because they always still feel so, so, so big on me. So my usually I am a small in the top, but I actually got an extra small in this one. And you can see that it's still like, if I pop it over my head, it's still like quite wide. Um, so yeah, so I have got it in that size and they all have got adjustable straps as well so that's just like a really cute little matching pajama set so um all in the same area they had a lot of other cute ones so i saw this dressing gown which i just thought was crazy cute i literally just loved it instantly let's just try and get this out here and i liked the fact that it was quite long but it's got a little split on the side um so yeah i mean if i like I don't know if you can see it's still it goes right down to your knees so it's a really nice length really lovely satin material loved the colors this was 12 pounds um, this they actually call navy um like and as you can see i've got that in a small as well but they had pajamas that matched this and then they had these ones and i thought about getting matching but i actually really liked kind of pulling out that kind of bluey color that's in it and uh, putting those together so then next i actually picked up so this is probably going to be a little bit too much information. Uh, when I get home from work, I like to get into something really comfortable. But I actually hate wearing my bra. I hate wearing a bra. But sometimes you don't want to be completely free. But it's that wired bra that's so uncomfortable. And as I was going around, I kind of just wanted something that was a little bit like a gym bra, but a little bit more relaxed. And I saw these wireless ones. And it was a pack of three kind of like wireless bra um, bras they were it was 10 pound for the three of them which I thought was really good um, but I really liked the colors I thought they're really simple so I got obviously gray white and black got these in a small it does say there's removable cups as well so you can I can see you can get rid of them if you didn't want them um, I don't really care about that it's they're very very thin anyway the cups in there it's basically just 
um, just like an extra little piece of cotton. Um, but yeah, I thought these would be just really nice that when I've got like jogging bottoms on and I can just have this and like chuck a t-shirt over or just literally wear it with this or like with high-waisted leggings and just feel kind of kind of cute and still comfortable around the house. I did get some bras, but I'm not going to show you the bras because I just think it's I know a lot of people do, but for me, it's just really personal for me, so I'd rather not show you. The next thing that I actually picked up was this tan belt. So, I have been wanting a tan belt for a really long time, and when I like to wear like white shorts and like a white t-shirt, I think it's actually really nice to have like a little tan belt just to kind of break it up. But this was £2, obviously got this in a small. Um, so just, yeah, just a really nice, simple um, tan belt with some gold detailing on the buckle. Like I said, because we're going to Venice, we are only going for three days, so we're not actually putting any luggage into the hold. So we're just putting it in the cabin and the overhead lockers. So um, we need to be really careful with stuff that we are taking, like the size of the products and stuff, which I think can be really difficult for me. I've never done this before. Um, so I actually picked up some more of these. We have already got one set, but I don't know if I'm going to need a couple of them. So these are only a pound. So much cheaper than Superdrug. I love Superdrug, but these are so so much cheaper than Superdrug. Then I also picked up these. So these are, this was from Primark Home. Also Primark Home have upped their game. I literally feel like I should have been going to Primark. I feel like I've missed it, but it was quite enjoyable. I literally spent like two hours in there to kind of see everything new that they had. But in Primark Home, they had these 30 LED warm white strip lights and they were only two pounds. They're a meter and a half. And what I want to do inside our, um, so we've got a built-in wardrobe, is I just want to put this underneath the shelf so that in the morning I can just kind of flick it on and I can see. Um, so it's kind of like a very cheap version of kind of like what Sharps wardrobes and stuff can do as soon as you open it, it turns on. So then I got these, which these are really cute and I actually really, really like these. When I put them on, I liked them even more. So these were six pounds, obviously I've got them in my size six. Um, and they've just got this like woven effect across. So if you kind of look there, you can see it's all just kind of woven, that lovely kind of wicker look at the moment that's everywhere. Um, and I really like them and they felt really comfortable when I put them on as well. So if I got them in black, obviously had to also get them in white, well slash cream. I would say these are probably more cream. Oh, they say white. They're a little bit more, I think they're a little bit more creamy, but I really like these. So, and I very rarely buy two of something exactly the same if it's not something like worky stuff or whatever. I'm usually a little bit more, um, I don't want the exact same, but when I tried this one, no, I tried this one on first, I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. And then I saw this colour and thought, oh, but that looks really cute as well. So then when I got, I thought 12 pounds for two pairs of really cute sandals, because I feel like you can dress these up and dress these down. And sometimes in the summer, I don't want to go out in like hills or whatever for a meal. I just kind of want to wear a cute little dress and that's where I think that stripy dress would look really cute and then again you can kind of mix it up if I wanted to wear the white or the black ones with that outfit I think that could look really really nice so yes I got those they actually have quite a lot of cute sandals in already which I was quite surprised at how much summer stuff was already in there um but yeah they were really there was a lot of really cute ones I had actually picked up another couple um but I thought no I've already spent enough money so I'm gonna stop and there were so many other things there was a lot of really cute workout stuff in there but they didn't have a lot of my sizes they were only in like 16 to 18 they didn't seem to have any small ones or they were like size 4 to 6 and let's just be real I'm not a size 4 to 6 and I'm never going to be a 4 to 6 so um it was a little bit frustrating because there were so many other things I really liked and I went to the men's section and I found some really nice really really light grey soft joggers but they only had them in extra small and a medium and in the men's I would have needed a small so I couldn't get those and they were only five pounds as well there was a lot of really really cute stuff in there so if you haven't been down to Primark I highly recommend that you go down there um but that's everything so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and that you've subscribed and hit that bell all that stuff that we say in every single video thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in our next video Bye guys. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kinda like a fire, like a